Welcome to the first episode of the Falcon Report for the 2011-2012 school year. Today our stories are, What is the Falcon Report? Sprucewood Introductions, Rule Reminders, and Be Safe, Be Responsible, Be Respectful. Good morning, Sprucewood Elementary. Welcome to a brand new school year and our first episode of the Falcon Report. My name is Miss Blunt and I am the school's Educational Technology Specialist. This morning I am going to explain to you a little bit about what the Falcon Report is. The Falcon Report is Spruce Woods' student-produced news broadcast. The sixth graders in our school create this broadcast once a week. We like to share all kinds of things that are going on in our school on this broadcast. You might see interviews with people from our school. We will share upcoming events and activities. And we really like to share what teachers and students are doing in their classrooms. So if you or your teacher knows of something exciting that your class will be doing, be sure to talk to our sixth grade teachers so that they know to include it on the news broadcast. This year we are asking every teacher to be sure to show this broadcast to their classes every Friday morning after the morning announcements. That way everybody is sure to get to participate in this exciting broadcast. We also publish this broadcast to our YouTube channel so that those who maybe aren't at school that day or parents and grandparents and friends can also watch the broadcast even if they're not at school on Friday. The URL for our YouTube channel is www.youtube.com slash sprucewoodes and you can find a link to that on our school webpage as well. So, without any further delay, let's enjoy the broadcast. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, I'm Rosanna. And I'm Gretchen. I'm Jenna. And we're introducing a bunch of people you probably don't know. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, who's the principal of Sprucewood. So what is your favorite thing about being a principal? We're working with the kids and seeing them learn and have a good time. Hi, I'm Gretchen. I'm interviewing the Miss or Ray. She works in the office and she works behind the desk. Hi, I'm Ray. who is the technology specialist. So what's your favorite ice cream? Actually, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't eat any ice cream at all. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan. I'm going to be introducing Mrs. Ware. She is a librarian at Sprucewood. What is your favorite color? I would have to say you red. <laughs> I am introducing Mrs. Sadar. She is a librarian too. So what is your favorite color? My favorite color is cougar blue. Good day, Sprucewood Elementary students. Today we are going to talk about some playground rules. These playground rules are don't throw rocks because they can hurt people. Don't roll down the hill because you can make someone fall down. Some more playground rules are do not jump off the swings because you could land on someone or hurt your own legs. So don't do it. Bullying is not acceptable as Bruce would. People only bully other kids to make them feel better about their own flaws. Sarcasm is fun with friends, but it is also counted as bullying. 
Be a good friend to everyone. If someone is beating you up, don't keep it a secret. Tell people, like a teacher, a parent, or a friend. Also, don't fight back and always encourage others to be nice to others. Boys and girls, as a school, we've chosen three big major rules to follow. We've chosen to be safe, be responsible, and be respectful. Throughout the year, you'll be learning so much more about each of these three major rules. We will teach you what it looks like to be safe, responsible, and respectful in every part of our building. Today, we will be focusing on what it looks like to be safe, responsible, and respectful in the hallways of Sprucewood Elementary. Boys and girls, this is Mrs. Wallace, and I'm here with you today in the hallway of Sprucewood Elementary. And the reason I'm here today in the hallway is to talk about how we can stay safe when we're in the hallways of Sprucewood Elementary. Sometimes we all get in a hurry and want to get to where we're going and we want to run or we want to walk really fast to get there but really and truly to keep you safe and to keep anyone from getting hurt in any way we need you and we're asking that you walk to be safe here at Sprucewood Elementary. Boys and girls, the other way that we can stay safe when we're walking in the hallway is to always walk facing forward. Sometimes when we're talking with our friends, it's easy to turn around and look backwards and continue to walk that way. But in order to be safe, we're asking that you walk facing forwards at all times in the hallways. Boys and girls, our second big rock or our big rule that we talk about is being responsible. And again, what does that look like in the hallways of Sprucewood? Being responsible in the halls of Sprucewood means that we don't talk when we're in the halls, and I know this is tough. But with 875 students at Sprucewood Elementary, it would make our classrooms noisy if we were continuing to talk in the hallways. So again, we're asking you not to talk when you're in the hallways with your friends, with people that are passing by, or even with your teachers. Please wait until you get into the classroom to talk. Boys and girls, the second rule that we ask that you follow when we're in the hallways to show that we're responsible is to always walk on the right-hand side of the hallway when you're going someplace. Again, with 875 students, we could have a true traffic nightmare in our hallways if we didn't. So again, walk on the right-hand side of the hallways when traveling. And finally, our last big rocker rule that we have at Sprucewell Elementary about being respectful in the hallways. That means when you're traveling, you go quickly and directly to where you need to go. That means take the sh shortest route and get there as quickly as possible so that your teachers can begin working with you again. Boys and girls, thank you so much for listening today. I look forward to seeing you be safe, responsible, and respectful in the hallways as you travel about.